In this video I will show you a really cool concept of the next iPhone, the iPhone 11. This concept is made by Hassan Kmac and you will see pictures from that concept and so on and you will see how it looks and other features and these features and this concept is based on all the leaks we already have of the next iPhone. So that will be really cool to see, don't you think? So in this iPhone 11 concept by Hassan Kmac we can see that uh, the next iPhone will have a bit, tiny bit smaller notch. And we can also see that uh, the iPhone 11 according to Hassan Kmac will have a more squared design as uh, for example the latest iPad Pro. It looks more like a modern iPhone SE or iPhone 5S really. So I really like that design because it looks really good with that. And uh, it will have a glass backside so all the wireless chargers will work with this. And uh, we can also see in these images that it will have uh, uh, in display touch ID and I personally think that's not so necessary with face ID that is awesome and we can also see that it will have a triple camera system on the backside with a really huge camera module <laughs> very very huge kind of strange to see as huge camera module and we can also see that it will be waterproof and uh, we can also see a redesign of the mute switch and I don't believe in that design because that switch should be on uh, in the other way because uh, it should not switch when you don't need it to, when you take it up from a pocket for example. And here we can see the triple camera system and that it will be 48 megapixel. So that's pretty nifty. And we can also see the in display touch ID once again and we can see the beautiful design on the side here with the volume rocker and the mute switch but as I said I don't think the mute switch will look like this because Apple wants to have it as it is now because they have thought about everything on the iPhone every detail to have a better user experience and the mute switch is one of those that should not switch when you take it out from a pocket for example when you don't want to by mistake so if you have a mute switch like this it will definitely switch when you take it out from a jeans pocket for example not good so i don't believe that so that was the concept by hassan kmac we will see if uh, it will look like this uh, i don't think it will completely look like this but uh, some of the features it will definitely have i'm sure of that and i think it's cool that it looks more like uh, the ipad pro design the latest ipad pro with a little bit squared design if you know what i mean like an uh, iphone se or something so i like that but i think uh, the really huge camera module on the back side is kind of ugly but uh, you probably will be used to it after a while but it's it looks very very ugly actually but um, we will see and we will also see if it will have usb type c as the rumor says or it will if it will still be lightning port as some other rumor says and so on this is still very early so no one knows yet but it will be interesting to see if uh, all these features in this concept will be on the coming iphone and also the in display touch id function i think well it's cool and all but uh, apple's face id has already replaced touch id for me because uh, Face ID is so awesome to have on the phone and if Apple can do so you can have Face ID in landscape mode and in portrait mode on the iPhone 2 exactly as on the latest iPad Pros then uh, I think we don't need Touch ID in, in the display anymore as uh, for example Samsung will have on their coming Galaxy phones. We don't need that because Apple has solved this problem with Face ID so it's unnecessary to have Touch ID really. 
but it could be cool to have as a replacement if you don't can use face ID for some reason or something then touch ID could be good to have maybe okay please like this video and please subscribe to my youtube channel do that okay bye